My name is Pilar Ibáñez and I'm the author of the book In Rainfire. We're going to use this program to give you some techniques and advice to have a happy life. So today we're going to learn how to improve your memory. It has happened to you that you meet someone in the street and you cannot remember their face and name and he calls you by your name. It has happened to you also that you are at home and you cannot remember where you left your car keys, your glasses, your cell phone. You cannot remember that you had an appointment or you need to call someone or you cannot remember the birthday of anyone. If it wasn't for Facebook, you wouldn't remember even the birthday of your parents. Well, maybe you're having trouble with your memory. I advise you to do today a list of things that you know that you forgot. For example, if today you, you know that you forgot a cell phone or an appointment, see if you can remember how many numbers of your friends also, see if you have today forget your glasses, your car keys, or you cannot remember what you ate today for breakfast or for lunch. If you are having trouble with your memory, well, you need to improve and to make some exercises. So here are two ways that you can improve your memory. First one is that you need to know that you need to have a good nutrition. And the second thing is that you need to exercise your brain because it is a muscle that you need to exercise. So, the first thing that is nutrition, you have to know some things. The first one is that you need to have a healthy diet. You need to have proteins in your diet because proteins are the ones that make one neuron to the other to have the amount of energy to have long-term memory. So you need to eat a lot of proteins. Also, you need to eat carbohydrates because this is the first energy that your brain is going to use to recall some information and, and to have them. The other thing is that you need to eat fats because these are the ones that transport one vitamin to the other so they can, the two neurons can connect with each other. It is very important also that you, need, that you know that the body doesn't produce any vitamins or minerals. So you need to eat them in vegetables and in fruits. I advise you to eat almost six different types of colors between vegetables and fruits in your daily diet. So eat three colors of different fruits and three colors of different vegetables when you are having your breakfast or your lunch. This will give you enough energy to have a healthy diet for your memory. Also, you need to drink a lot of water. Water is very important because as you know, we are made out of 80% of water and water will give you the amount of balance that you need to know, you need to have in your body. Also, a good nutrition will help you to improve your memory. It is very important that you know that each body is very different. So you need to start to mix a lot of fruits and vegetables and proteins, carbohydrates and fats to have a very nice and good nutrition for your brain. The second thing is that you need to, uh, to make a lot of exercise in your brain. The brain is divided into two hemispheres, the right hemisphere and the left one. The right one is the one in charge of the logic, the numbers, the sequels, so it's very important this part of the brain. But also you have the, the right part of your brain that is in charge of the senses, the emotions, the feelings, and have a lot of creativity. Normally, people use one of the two hemispheres of the brain, and you need to connect them to have a better memory. So there are a lot of uh, techniques that you can improve and connect these parts of your brain. One of them is to be in your house in the morning and do some exercise that connect the, the two of them. You can do it like this with, the, with one hand and like this with the other hand and this will help you connect the two hemispheres. Also, try to do this when you are at home, when you wake up and this will also give you a lot of strength to connect them. Google some of the exercises and you, will, you can find a lot of ways that you can improve that connection that you need to, to have in your brain. Also, there are some techniques de depending on the trouble that you are having that you can use at home. If you are the ones that are forgetting all the time numbers, try to take, to take the number and to put a word to each syllable. So you, at the end, can 
memorize a lot of numbers, but by doing a little sentence or a story. That some people can use this technique to remember all the cell phones of, the, of their friends by having a story for one of, of the friends. So it, it will be very nice. Also, if you are the one that doesn't recall a lot of people's the faces or their names, it's very important that you start to accomplish one face to something that you know, start to associate them. So if there is a person that you just met that is called Pedro, and you know someone that is called Pedro, try to associate the face with that information that you already know. So next time you will know him by name. The other thing is that you are the one that are left, that you rem don't remember where you left your car keys or, your, or a bag or an appointment. It is very important that you start telling yourself out loud what you do with the things. For example, if it was my car keys or a pen, I will say to myself, I'm leaving the pen in, in the table. So if I say out loud, next time my brain will search where the, where the object is and you will find it in the table. So try to do it out loud and you will remember. Also, it's very important to improve your memory to do some exercises like playing Sudoku or crosswords or uh, trying to read a lot. So can, you can tell the, and if you read something and you tell it again, that will help you a lot with your memory. Also, you need to pay attention. A lot of times when we don't, for, don't remember or forget things is because we are doing two things at the same time and the brain can only do one thing at a time. So if you are paying attention to that moment and that information, that will uh, go in your brain in a healthy way. If you are not paying attention, that is normally what a lot of people do because we are in the cell phone and we are paying attention to a meeting. It's very important that you start to, to do what you are doing in the cell phone, but also paying attention to the meeting so that information goes and stores in your brain in a long-term memory. Also, you need to Im try to involve as many senses as you want, as you like, to recall a lot of information. For example, if you can remember, if you have been to an amusing park, you are you're always going to remember the situation by the experience that you had in that moment. That means that you involve taste, texture, senses, how it, uh, how it uh, smell. So try to involve a lot of senses to recall the information and this will help you with, to improve your memory. Also try to associate as many information as you, as you like. The brain has a capacity to store information. So if you associate what you are learning new with it, something that you already know, that will help you a lot with your memory. I hope these techniques will help you to improve your memory. You can follow us for more information in our social media. And remember, everything, everything starts when you ask. My name is Pilar Ibáñez and we will see each other again. Bye.